Austin Dukes is a junior defensive lineman for the Argos who's had his hands full this season and the workload won't lighten up the rest of the way. So while he's still able to stand, we bring him in studio now. And Austin, welcome. Thanks so much for being on with us. Thank you, uh, Tommy, for having me. That's great to have you. And well, you have five tackles in that West Georgia game, brings you up to 27 on the season. So what's life like there in the trenches on the defensive line? Uh, it's fun. It's fun uh, being undersized, 230 pounds, and going to get somebody that's uh, 300 pounds or more and uh, a lot stronger. But it's just fun getting underneath them. Basically just sh uh, telling them and showing them that, hey, you're going to uh, have a fun night tonight dealing with me, you know, putting up with somebody. What's the key to, to, to being able to beat some of those guys that maybe have a little more size on you? Uh, low pad level and good hands. I mean, if you, yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, Coach Crush has been telling me my whole career, and uh, I don't want to sound like him, but uh, if you get underneath <laughs> somebody, I mean, it's hard for them to push you when you're underneath somebody's pad level. So you got lower pad level. You had a big fumble recovery in the national championship last year. Yeah. Where does that rank in some of your favorite moments from uh, your college career so far? Uh, probably number one, definitely number one. It was fun uh, getting done with the game and seeing all the texts and calls I had, and uh, just uh, it was just a great experience. I wish I would have scored it. I, you know, got brought down at the <laughs> six yard line. I had six more yards. I could tell my kids one day, you know, I scored a national championship, but now I got to tell them. You know, I returned it to the six-yard line. Right. Don't sound as cool, but Wait, hopefully hey, they – It's still the national, yeah, still championship, the national championship on so, national exactly, television. Exactly. So it, was it, a, it, was a, it was it was an awesome experience. It's hard to beat that. Yes, Florida sir. Tech this week, you yes. guys have played a couple of tight games yeah. against them so far the last couple of years. Uh, how much do you look forward to this game year in and year out? Oh, it's a fun it's – a, it's a great game. You got two uh, schools with a lot of Florida kids on it and a lot of kids that's been competing throughout high school, middle school. They're going against each other again. Always close. I mean, the first year we won uh, – by Hail Mary at the last second. Uh, and then last year we won at a, by a field goal at the, the last second. So it's always a tough game, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Do you have a lot of friends on that team? A lot of friends. I got uh, my buddy Tate Letio, mm -hmm. his little brother plays. So I know he's been talking a little trash already. So <laughs> you know, I've been jumping in there. You know, I got my buddy Tate's back. You know, there you go. Guy. Yeah, so a little, a little trash talk. Good so. stuff. Uh, on the offensive line, their goal is always to open up holes yeah. and you know protect the quarterback. What is the equivalent of that on the defensive side of things? I would say uh, the D-line specifically, we run a three-man front. So I think we just got to take on double teams and let our linebackers feel. I mean, you got to understand that this play ain't your play to make. If you're getting a double team, you got to stay in the gap and make sure they don't come off and uh, hit one of our linebackers that's trying to come and fill the hole and tackle a running back. All right, good luck this weekend All against right. Florida Tech. Thanks so much yes, for sir. stopping by. Thank Enjoyed you, Mr. Tommy. Yes, sir.